This is a fun game. You just wait out the donkeys. Wait out the wait out the the jackasses. Good times. Good times. Ashton says, "I aspire to be a nice English teacher." Actually, that's a great question. Is that your is that your uh, your sort of life like life goal, Astrid? Is that your professional goal is to be a, is to be a teacher? I know it makes sense based on the path you're on, but I haven't actually asked. Yo, Mars, congratulations. That's cool. That's more than cool. That's that's really neat. Sir said I had one English teacher I liked. That was it. I've had a couple I didn't like, but I, mostly, mostly positive. Mostly really positive. Fucking donkeys, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Mars must have bribed, bribed his students. Must have. Sounds about right. I think there is a way. While we're here, let's do it. Is there a way to... Uh... I thought there was a way to make a zone where stuff is not allowed to grow. But I don't know how to do that. I thought I was gonna I, I could do that right here in these little these little places fucking donkeys dude they're just they're just doing it as says that was the goal but now with COVID, I'm not sure what I want to do I've always wanted to be a translator or something I discussed it with a friend he said that I could do games and stuff which would be great if you ask me translate some games I do have a book that I'm in the middle of translating so I'll probably continue with that once my finals are over that's the book of a friend right you said is that right yeah We have one day of food left until these donkeys force us to starve. Yes, you remembered. I did remember. I try. Not a great memory, but sometimes. Sometimes. Nobody's that upset. Mars and Meg are both a little bit upset, but they're not pissed. Donkeys, get the fuck out of here. It said they would get out of here, right? Donkeys will leave the area in one or two days. Eventually, the plan is to build a bunch of uh, of turrets as well. If I put a turret there, will that work? Hmm. It's actually probably a little bit short. Maybe we should build these bigger. I'm just using this time to just like sit here and think about stuff because I can't do anything else. Lord knows. Lord knows. Can't do anything else. God damn it. Build a bunch of turds. Yeah, yeah. Turds. 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 <laughs> she says the one teacher I liked told me my spelling wasn't as important as my knack for grammar and story base. I think there's maybe one donkey left. There's one donkey left. Nope, two donkeys left. Mars is wandering around in a psychotic state. Great, I love it when that happens. There's always gonna be an editor to fix your mistakes, it's true. Uh, I'm sorry, Megan texted me. When the wife texts, you must respond. Mars is in a bad way. Which is not good, because now we're out of food. Donkey, please just get the fuck out of here. Hey, Knights, how's it going? Hello, have we met you before? I don't think we have. How are you? Uh, Blaze is reminding me to hydrate. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, I think spelling is like, 
spelling and grammar are so <clears throat> are so obviously not the, the most important thing to have going for you when writing and communicating but they are such a useful useful thing to eventually tackle and get good at because clarity is such an important part of what you're trying to get across like the amount of times uh you know as you know you know you read a chat message for instance or you write something on the internet and you read it slightly differently than it was intended and that causes a miscommunication that that builds you know this fucking donkey dude they're they're currently sleeping so do we just say fuck it all right that's it we just say fuck it uh you're all going right here we just say fuck it you're all going right here except for you three who are going right here cool kill the donkeys Kill the donkeys. Um, how is life on the rim? Life on the rim is excellent. Got a couple fucking manhunting donkeys with Scaria or whatever. Who are currently upsetting us. Wes, get out of there. Blaze, you can actually also get out of there. Um, made us hide inside and lose all of our food because we were hiding inside. But now, the ten donkeys are down to two. And then we just killed one, so now we're down to one. Yeah. Having a good day. Uh, knights we're having a great time this is uh this is uh, a colony based on our friends here in chat which has been a lot of fun um meg is currently butchering that's probably a good call hear me out though what if you then butchered and then made some food we're gonna need food desperately we're in a, we're in a big a big problematic way right now a turd meter turd meter Turds tell you when the ghosts are close by, but you need a turd meter. A turd meter. Kill some wild boars. That seems fine. Sure. All my people are going to eat like raw food right now because our one cook, our one chef is, uh, is predisposed to psychotically wander. And we're out of food because it's winter and our animals are starving too. Fuck me. It's not good, chat. It's actually bad. Yo. Hmm. I would call this very no bueno. Hunt a rat. We're going to keep an eye out for any kind of movement that isn't a boomalope, and we are going to kill it. And we are going to eat it immediately. What is that? Is that a donkey? That one's a manhunting donkey. We ignore that one. Do you not have NPM dispenser? I don't even know what that is, Night Spark. We're playing Randy Random. Uh, and the difficulty that is like, uh, it's like the fourth option down. I don't even remember the name. Yeah. Are you a big RimWorld fan, uh, Night Spark? Sounds like it. Did we kill the rhinoceros? I think we might have to. There's one of the pissed off donkeys. I made a uh, I made a black hair cap. Astrid says it was easier than I thought. I might make more of them. I think Megan uses hair caps uh, for her hair. Um, if they're the things I'm thinking of, I believe she does. A nutrient paste dispenser. I think you can build it unless you've started tribal. I can build it. How does it work? Nutrient paste dispenser. I've never used one. Nobody likes eating it, though. It accepts raw food, but not rough plant matter. Huh. Can you throw donkeys with Scaria into the nutrient paste dispenser? I passed 5k hours in RimWorld last month. Holy shit. Where are you from? Uh, where are you from, Night Spark? Asher says it's just a circular piece of fabric with elastic in the hems. Yeah, hers is like ov ovular, though. Hers is ovular? That's not the right word. It's oval-shaped. Seer says it's always going bad, yet somehow you continue to survive. I know, right? By the grace of Randy Randoms. Um, it's really not good. All right, at this point, we are to the stage where I will take any berry bushes that I can find. Which I don't think we shall have because it is the 11th day of winter. And also it is volcanic winter currently. We're going to have to think long and hard about how to do this. We have a stallion, which you better believe we're going to fucking hunt. I know. They have 
Odds of getting very pissed at you? Yep, I am aware. Who cares? Yep, that was the joke, uh, Astrid. It's an oval shape. You know, ovular. I'm a Hungarian, uh, but I'm from the UK. Gotcha. Dude, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh my god, it is is it huge. Holy shit. It's enormous. Can you operate it outside? We're gonna we're gonna find out. It's enormous. I bet we can get into some like real high level programming with like when to use it, when not to. We're gonna try. Alright, food is food rules everything around me. Um, it's enormous. How big is the graveyard now? Oh, Seer. The graveyard is actually kind of small. I mean, RIP our colonists, but, uh, only five of them. But we also, we just cremated all the other, all the other dead bodies. So. It's enormous. Wink, wink. What could you possibly be winking at, Astrid? About the comment that it's enormous. Wink, wink. It's enormous. Hmm. I wonder what that. So what are you making? Uh, what are you making next, Astrid? You know what is really, really efficient for uh, for sending off starvation is harvesting individual berry bushes around the colony, right? Uh, I don't want to kill the rhinoceros. The quest for glitter world medicine. Bunch of man hunting rats. We could actually do that. That's a pretty good one. But I think we have our own problems to solve right now. There's a hair. Clearly my mind is pure. I thought you were commenting on the neutral paste dispenser machine. Of course. Gonna make some more hair caps? I don't have any real plans. Gotcha. Ours is a major break risk. Keeps eating all this raw fucking food. Okay. So hear me out though. Maybe switch jobs. Wes, what are you doing? Instead, please uh, build this, because you have the better skill. We're going to make this Meg only. And we're going to do that. And I don't know why... Maybe the way... Maybe the thing I should do is make two butcher creatures. This is getting into the weeds, and I love it. Meg is our first butcherer. But only if Meg is not butchering can we do Mars as our butcherer. Maybe we'll do the exact same on this. Except we'll do it with Meg as the second worker. We would prefer Mars to do the cooking and we would prefer Meg to do the butchering. Meals are rolling in. Let's go, Mars. Let's go. I was gonna say, a crematorium could be a useful build. Makes great fertilizer. Oh, Jesus. A, a marble meteorite. Great. Love it. I actually do want some marble. Um. Astrid says, have you played They Are Billions? Oh, Astrid, I have played They Are Billions. I've not played nearly enough of it though. I tried it on stream one day and I think what I should have done is probably played it a little bit off stream first because I really liked the game, but I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And so I was like barely paying attention to chat because I was stressed in the game. I should probably kind of like RimWorld, I've played it a little bit beforehand, but never, like I played it before I came to stream. Yeah, it looked like it was, I was very into it, um, but I was not doing a good a good job talking to chat. Um, Everybody loves weeds. Weeds. Surprise says I'm still pissed the crematorium is in my room. It's actually no longer in your room. Surprise, I forgot to tell you. I moved it to Matt. I moved Maddie to that room. <clears throat> now you live in the room with the research bench because it seems more up your alley. Um, so you don't even have to be worried. Yeah, it worked out well. Um, Maddie, meanwhile, has to deal with the dead bodies being burned uh, right, right next, right next door. Then what's going on with you? 
You ate kibble. I mean, that'd fucking do it. I'd be pissed too. I would have a negative 12 mood if I ate kibble as well. I would also be very upset with the world and everything in it if I ate some kibble. Surprise says, well, fuck. Now he has nothing to be mad at me for. I know, right? Sad, isn't it? What are you going to be pissed about next? Is there any food out here? Anything sleeping? Psychic drone. Shit. It's female and our entire colony's female. Minus, I think, one person. Okay, we have a hair there. I'm scanning the countryside for any meals. Meg has gotten food poisoning from a meal because of incompetent food. Of course. It's probably the raw meat that she ate. Um, <clears throat> Surprise is going to be pissed at my existence. Ah, right, well, that's a good one. Um, Or also, Night Spark says you can be pissed at the weather. That's a good reason to be pissed. That is a good reason to be pissed. We now need a hopper. Like that. A machine that synthesizes edible nutrient paste from organic feedstocks placed in adjacent hoppers. You don't have a... You don't have a... Uh, okay. So I wonder how you do this. You don't have bills. So I wonder if it just always makes some. I wonder how I turn it on and off. Do I disallow the hopper? That's probably what I do. I'll wait until the hopper's built. Incompetent food? I don't think it's the food's fault. It's probably Mars's fault, our, uh, our favorite cook. Chef, that thing. It'll take one from the machine directly. How do I stop it wasting my food on it though, is the question, you know? Uh, I'll, I'll solve that when it's, when I have a hopper that works. Mars says, don't blame me. But that's my favorite thing to do. I'm also pissed that Meg isn't here. Uh, in the chat. We have a... Martin is the only male in our colony. We have seven females, one male. Lim is on a major break risk. Lim, what is going on with you? Eight kibble. That's right. That's still happening. Okay. <laughs> Mega superior to you in every way. Kappa no kappa. I I mean, I'm not going to argue with, with, with you on that one. Or most ones for that matter. None of those are going to grow, so we still need more food. Hot damn. Wes, what are you building? Give me a solid. That is now built. Storage settings. Okay, so let's do... How do you turn it on and off? You just probably change the priority. Let's do important priority because this is currently preferred. Let's do important priority and add any non-human meat. Okay, that works. That works. That works. All right, let's do it. So now that will be, Maddie, go ahead and haul to that. Is that technically cooking? It's not hauling, it's cooking. We're figuring stuff out today. Night Spark says, don't put food on the hopper. You can clear all allowed ingredients once the hopper is built. Uh oh, now I'm confused. Mars says, Ryan, I have two important questions for you. One, how much of a drink do you have left? And are you at all thirsty? Uh, I have, that's a great question, Mars. I'm not gonna answer the first one. I'm, of course I'm thirsty. Use the NPM for emergencies or when low on food. I have great news for you. We have zero days worth of food in storage. I would qualify this as, a, uh, as an emergency. 
Answer the damn question? I don't know what you're talking about, Mars. Curious here. Set the hopper. Uh, critical at, pri at critical priority. I have it at important, but I will set it at critical. Okay. Mars is redeemed. Hydrate me, Daddy. Good thing I got a second drink. Let's go. Thanks, Mars. Cheers. Wants me to down my drink. That's right. So now I just turn this off. Suspend, suspend. All right. Now it does have to be butchered first, right? It does have to be butchered first. Okay. All right. Let's see what, what Mars does. He's going to take it. He's going to feed it. So you're telling me this counts as walls, right? Oh, why did I put it there? That is no longer going to work. I have to build this somewhere else. If I move it one over, I have an idea. I have an incredible idea. You cheeky little bastard, Mars says. You're welcome. Raw food is not allowed. Raw food is not allowed. Raw food is not allowed. What does that mean? Rotten food? Surprise has spent 500 hours watching this stream. Holy shit. Quote unquote, trying to make Ryan feel better about himself. Holy shit. Okay. He just got, I see. Lim just went and he grabbed a thing. That was cool. Oh, you're saying for humans don't allow them to eat raw food. Yo, we are learning. Okay. Don't allow them to eat rotten food or Raw food. That's cool. Or for that matter, kibble. Or hay. Also, don't allow them to eat fucking corpses. We're going to change this and name it something else. Um, No cannibal. Ah, oh, shit. I just fucked that. No cannibal. Great. Uh oh, uh oh, Martin and oh shit, Martin and Blaze are fighting. Martin, Blaze, what are you guys, what are you guys doing? Blade derided, Blaze derided Martin's body. This drove Martin into a rage, and he has begun a fight. Oh good, just getting along so well over here. Blaze uh, got fucked up there, and so did Martin. Martha, Martin is gonna die in 17 hours. You love to see it. No, oh, don't use that. Uh uh, uh uh, um. Nope, we only allow herbal medicine until I can get the one thing fixed. Seer so says, uh, we do our part. Do you feel better now? You do your part. Did your part. The psychic drone is ending. This is great. I think I have now uh, followed what you were saying, Nice Bark. I appreciate the intel. Blaze needs some treatment. Uh, he'll be fine. Martin's going to survive. That's what's important here. Uh, I have kept all of my annals inside, which is a mistake. I meant to do that. I meant to move them back. You can leave. Please don't. Please don't starve. Mars is also currently starving. Great. I love it, Nice Spark. I love it. Thanks. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Nice Spark, do you play any other games? Or are you just a, uh, a huge Rim World fan? Fan. Uh, okay, we're building those, which is great. The other nice thing is animals, wild animals will wander into these and uh, and get taken out as well. So, see how many blocks we got. Too many blocks. Holy shit, we have too many blocks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, okay, well... We need storage now. Shit. We need more storage. 
Let's actually mine those out. Kinshi and Oni, but my rain, my main is Rimworld. I don't even know what Kinshi and Oni is. What? What are those? What are those? I've never even heard of those. Um. Do some of that. I'll grab some doors. Grab some doors. one of those build copies all right we're rolling along rolling along orders remove plans there hi dogs what's up dogs do you want to say hi, uh say hello to our new friend nice park say hi say hi good boy hi, kings look up seth with two s's on youtube Review on YouTube. It'll tell you all you need to know. Have tissue paper nearby. Ooh. Chat, has anyone heard of the games Kinshi or Oni? And maybe that's actually all one game now? It's occurring to me that that might be all one game. Puppers. I've heard of Oni. Clear the home area from... No, that's actually great. Two different games. I've heard of Kinchi and I've heard of Oni. Two different people. Never played. Cool. Oh lord. Still dogs. Hero is such a freaking instigator, dude. I swear to God. Wait, wait. Why are we? Why are we? Wait, wait. We're all malnourished. Are we completely out of food? Why is this happening? Is it not working because I don't have? Oh no. Oh no. 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 Wes, you have to... Oh, shit. You have to build the hopper. I think it won't work because we only have four of that type of food on it. And we need another one. Oh, fuck me. All of you buffalo are now dying. Okay, you're all dying. You need six raw ingredients and we only have four and it's not smart enough to know that we... Is it not, is it not smart enough to know that we... It can't accept a couple things? Is that what's going on? Lunar, how's it going? Hello. Cheers. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How about you? I'm great. What are you up to today? It can only be one type of exactly, exactly. Well, Wes, uh, hurry up and build it because we're all gonna die of hunger. We're all gonna die of hunger. I repeat, we are all going to die of hunger. Okay, what to do here? Wes is building in the wee hours of the morning. It's 4 o'clock in the morning and he's out building. Any... This is the winter that's going to kill us. We should really consider building... We'll do it next year. We'll try and do it next summer. We're gonna try and build indoor, uh, indoor uh, hydroponics and stuff, or uh, indoor harvesting. No wildlife? Oh, we've killed like all of it. Oh, we can definitely kill some of our ducks though. Just don't tell duck. Okay, now we have nutrients. Thank God. Blaze is uh, is gonna die of malnutrition. Just kidding. Okay. Everybody's getting a little bit of food. That's good. We'll have a little bit more here very soon. It's the second to last day of winter. We're getting there. Lunar, I don't recognize this name. What was your name before that? Uh, this one. All right, go kill some. I will say one of the things we are really popping off with right now is uh, we have a great setup for we have a great setup for our, our colonist priorities with the current amount of people we have because uh, like this is pretty good I like this a lot actually this nutrient paste dispenser I like it a lot
Yeah, no, basically no wildlife. Um, we haven't had to mess with our system of of priorities in a long time. Things are going well. Boom rat, boom rat. <laughs> Couple Ibex. We're going to be fine. We're actually going to be fine. I do remember that, Mars. Yeah, yeah, that's been a little while, but I do remember that. Indeed, it has been losing my grip on quite a while. Sounds like. Nice Spark with the follow. Thank you. Oh, fuck me. Nice Spark has decided to follow, which is a boon for our life. And meanwhile, a pack of man-hunting raccoons has entered the area, driven insane by the disease known as Scaria. They will roam the region looking to kill us all. There's a fuck ton of them. There's 15 fucking raccoons. Okay, I have great news. This is now going to be unsuspended. All of you are going to go in here. Um, Dude, this is twice this has happened. There's no way we actually survive this time. One or two days. Okay. They're coming from the direction we don't really have defenses either. So that's not good. Oh, lordy. Uh, animals, we are going to send in to... Nice, Spark. I have a question for you. Do you know if manhunting animals, I know it's it's called manhunting. Will manhunting animals also attack animals, like like pets, or will they just attack human flesh? It says manhunting. It says humanoid flesh, etc. What do you know? Are you dropping frames, or is my laptop freaking out? They will attack pets. Okay, well, fuck me. Uh, I think we've dropped a couple frames, Astrid, but not a lot. 200 total this stream, so maybe we have. If they see them passing through your door? If they see a wild pet out in the wild, or out in the animals, your animals will attack them. Okay, well, shit. In that case, everybody's going inside. Okay, the raccoons are coming for us. They're trying to give us the rabies. Um, we have now turned that on. That is now off. We're going to make all of these. Please get in there, quick. Nope. Yep, that's right. Um, all the animals I want in there, if possible. Martin's coming too. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be close. Martin, I have bad news for you. You might have to go live somebody somewhere else. Martin, just go here. Just go there. Oh my god, Hero, please. I don't want to do this to you, Hero. Astrid says it's a problem in my laptop. Oh no. Uh, Hero, you better hurry up. You like, you have to hurry. F, F. Okay. So now we can undraft you guys. Martin? No, you're still... No, 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 no. Okay, you have to stay in there. The second time in a row, we got to leave our people in the refrigerator for days at a time. At least we have a little bit of food. We should be fine on food. Mars is going to make a whole shit ton of meals real quick. Because 15 fucking rabid raccoons have run up on our colony. Martin is the only one who might die here because he is stuck in his room. This should work. Blaze, what are you doing? Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Woo. Blaze has some snacks. Chocolate covered pretzels. Oh my God. Chocolate covered pretzels, peanut butter filled pretzels. All oh, great. It's the sound of raccoons losing their goddamn minds. You like it? Mars is making meals, right? Mars, how many meals you got? No, no, no. Do me a solid. Go ahead and just make some meals. Meg's currently doing that? No. Make a couple meals. Yep. You can go to bed very soon. Once we have a couple extra meals. Okay, go to sleep. What sort of weapons do you have on your colonists? Uh, we've got like one AR, some bolt action rifles. 
a couple heavy SMGs. I think we could probably take the raccoons. I'm going to try and avoid it if possible. Um, we've taken a couple manhunting packs in the past, but I'm going to try and avoid it if possible. Surprise. Surprise, I didn't know you were in such a good mood. Thanks to a high mood, Surprise has experienced an inspiration. She's going to move faster for the next eight, eight days. Good thing she'll spend two days in here. Two days in here. Do you know melee blocking? I do not know melee blocking. Not at all. Not at all. I think Martin is going to have the worst time of this. He's going to starve to death. Um. All right, while we're here, let's go ahead and, and just waiting. Let's use this time to just plan. Give me some doors. Um, can I explain if you want me to or look it up later? Uh, if you want to, if you if you if you want to spend the time explaining, go for it. Um, I'm not terribly confident that I'll know how to. I'll, I'll be able to pull it off, but I just fucked that up. That's the wrong way. Wes is now throwing a tantrum. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wes, what are you doing? Mars, why are you not making meals fast enough? Wes is throwing a tantrum. We're going to block off these doors too, just in case. Wes, if you break a wall, I swear to God. Wes! Wes! Wes, what are you doing? No! Wes is going to die. Rest in pieces to Gnarly Cash, a.k.a. Wes, who went out into the wild to face 15 rabid raccoons all at once. That is a, a not smart move, my friend. Uh, we're going to play this on one speed and see if we can make him live. Do we just send everybody out there? What do you guys think? We can send everybody out and just fuck up some raccoons. Or... Hmm. Surprise says, no, I value my life. Are you shitting me? Surprise chooses his own life over the life of a fellow colonist? Surprise. Wow. Showing your true colors today, huh? Wes has got it. Wes is going to be fine. Wes is not going to be fine. Wes is so not fine. I think Wes is dead. It's cool, but Wes is definitely dead. He's taking on three. He dodged He dodged a couple shots. He's going to die in 13 hours. He's, he's diving, ducking, and dodging. Dipping and, and dodging again. Now he's going to die in 10 hours. Wes, do me a solid and just seek, seek uh, safety. Oh, God. No shit. Colonist is in need of rescue. They won't just attack him while he's down, right? No, they won't. So here we could potentially have Martin save him. Potentially. If there, it's 9 o'clock. He dies at, in 7 hours from now. So he dies at uh, 4 o'clock. If Martin gets a chance, I think we might send Martin after him. I think we might. Is Meg currently making meals? Okay. Meg's making as many meals as she can. Time Spark says, melee blocking. You need a one width choke point, usually open door. You put your best melee fighter and all the armor you have in front of the door. And you put all shooters behind. You can use strong animals like rhinos with the zoning tool. The idea is that no one can pass through the door as long as the space after the door is occupied. You basically use the melee or the animal as a tank to hold the door. Everyone else is shooting the enemy, stands in the doorway or behind the door. Interesting. Will they not friendly fire? Is there no friendly fire, Night Spark? Very interesting. Martin, are you making a run for it? That's currently no sight. Are we doing it? Chad, are we sending Martin after... All 
All right, hold up one second. Hold up one second. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Don't go here. Oh, Martin, what are you doing now? You're gonna have to be so fucking quick, Martin. This is not gonna work. You going for this bed? Really? That's the bed you're going for? You're not gonna move so fast. Oh, fuck, Martin. There's no friendly fire from within three or four squares. Okay. Okay. Guys, I think this might be the end of Martin. Um, I think it's also probably the end of, of West, but... Mars says, I gotta step out for a bit. Watch out for a surprise for me and make sure he doesn't post any lewd links. I will. I will do that. Rest in peace, Martin. I know, right? Alright. Martin. Hear me out here. You're not gonna rescue him. So, maybe just run. How can we even make him run, though? It's not gonna work. You gonna try and run through here? No, that's not a good idea. Are you moving fast? You're currently moving at 95%, so that's pretty fast. We'll make you run. Just 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 run. Now you're gonna die in 17 hours? Well, okay. In that case... Keep running. Martin's gonna die in 11 hours? Seven hours. Okay, well. Martin's dead for sure. And so are Wes. So is Wes. Um... Mars is in a slightly better mood than Meg, so I'm just going to make him cook for a long time. Cook a ton. Cook a ton. It was a good run, Martin. It was a pretty good run. Wait. Wes was... For two seconds, Wes was, Wes was capable of walking. And now he is... And now he is no longer capable of walking again. Nice Park says, BRB, you got to check on dinner? Sounds good. Thanks for the explanation, by the way. Um, that's crazy. All right, Wes is about to die. I just want to—I want to tell you—I want to tell it like it is. Wes is about to die. So is Martin. I don't think I can risk it. I don't think I can risk it. Astro says, "What's for dinner?" Beef. It's what's for dinner. Unless. All right, chat. I need your help right now. Are we the kind of community? who lets these two die out in the cold, or are we the kind of community that goes out and helps them? What do we think? What do we think? Do we go or do we stay? Because I don't know. I honestly don't know. We'd have probably five people versus 15 raccoons, which, never mind, we're staying. That's too hard, that's too hard. I don't know how strong raccoons are, but I think we're staying. Wes and Martin are both gonna die. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in over here so it's more peaceful. Medical emergency, Wes is about to die. Yeah, no shit. And there was rain over misery town. So much rain. A group of travelers are passing by? There's hope. Where are they from? They're up there. There's hope. It's currently... I think it's like the hour West is about to die. Yeah, yeah. Is Martin savable? No. No, they are not. They're rabid. Just leave them be. But hear me out. Okay. We're going to play this slow. I don't think there's any chance we survive. Yeah, yeah. There's no chance. Guys, if you could have come just a little bit earlier. Both colonists are now dead. There's Wes. There's Martin. The problem with this is this is about to this is about to strongly negatively affect 
our our living colonists mood can i get an f in the chat for wes and an f in the chat for for martin they lived good lives as short as they were all right now the rabbits are gonna take the rabbits are gonna the rabbits the rabid raccoons are gonna take on these visitors so this ought to be good This guy's name is Deadlift. And Bourbon. Bourbon and Deadlift. What a name. Eating the bureaucrat, bureaucrat is dead. Alright. Is this the time when we make our stand? Is it? You know? Do we pop out and shoot him while the uh, Martin died in vain? F? No, he didn't, he didn't. He didn't die in vain. I thought you had one, one man and seven women. Well, now I have six women don't bourbon and deadlift it's it's quite the combo honestly i think now we maybe stick our heads out and kill these bitches while uh nah i should probably not um let's make maddie go he um let's make maddie go here let's make meg go here limbs carrying that heavy smg surprise has a bold action Blaze has a heavy SMG. Let's go here. We're sending everybody out. We're gonna do it. These raccoons aren't gonna aren't gonna fucking ruin my day anymore. Uh uh. A bunch of them are going there. Okay, never mind. We are gonna wait. Never mind. Never mind. We're actually gonna wait. We are now being raided by tiger, humps, grasshopper, and cockroach. This game, man, I swear. Randy Random. Gonna take me out here. The great news about this. He, they're gonna raid while these villagers are leaving. Which is gonna run them into raccoons. Which is gonna mean we're gonna hopefully have, like, no... Nothing to do. These raccoons are going for him. Go get him. Go get him. Kill the raccoons or kill me. I don't give a shit. Or or, uh, or or let them kill you. I don't give a shit. Are you guys leaving now? Don't leave. No, no, no. They're still waiting. Okay. They're now beginning their assault. All right, chat. Nice Sparks having roasted chicken wings for dinner. Sounds delicious. Humps is, humps is, is approaching quickly. Humps is running. My humps, my humps. My lovely lady lumps. Check it out. Humps, just take one out with you. That's all I ask. You did. Okay, great. Everybody but Mars get drafted. And go stand right here. Right there. Just in case. Humps is taking a bunch of them out. How many are left? Five-ish? Oh, there's only like five-ish left. Okay. This could have been worse. I just want to say for the record that this could have been worse. They're going to chase them. Who's starting a fucking fire? You bitch. I think it's raining. I don't think the rain is going to affect it though. It is not affecting it. Cockroach is going to get chased down by a couple raccoons. All right, now's our time. Now's our time. Okay, uh, Blaze, you're actually going to stand like right here. Surprise, you're going to stand right there. Fighting a couple over there. Yeah, yeah, shoot them both. Shoot them all. Shoot them all. Shoot them all. Uh, Lim, go right... Uh, where are you going, Lim? Right there. Go ham. Go ham. They're all weak. I think that one's now dead. Every single person has been hit at least once. This is going to be fine. 
How many raccoons are left? Are they killing the last raccoon right now? Let's actually send Lim this way. For a little, uh, a little, a little peek. They're now gonna flee. That's great if he'll, if he'll actually flee. I don't think he's gonna actually flee. Easy. All right. We've done it. Oh my God. Surprise says, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go out there and fight. Instead, I'm gonna sit in my chair. Thank you very much, my gaming chair. Surprise, do you have a gaming chair? If you don't have a gaming chair, I'm gonna be the most surprised human. Are they all dead? No? Yes. No? Mostly. Scout's dead. That's, that's, never mind. Those are our people. Um. They're all dead. Surprise does have a gaming chair? Exactly. Exactly. All right, y'all. Well, I love it. Did so well. Who's having a really great day? None of us? Okay. Raise your hands. None of us. Great. We survived. I'm going to go pee. I'll be back in two seconds. Oh, there was a fire. I forgot. Surprise is sleeping in a bed right beside a fire. I'm going to go pee. I'll be back in two seconds. Exclamation chair and chat. I'll be right back. All right. We have two very, um, two very sleepy dogs in this room. Very sleepy dogs. And we're back. Astro says two seconds over. I'm sorry. I pee quick, but I don't pee that quick. Not quite. I did my best. Um, Ryan says day wasn't that bad. Ah, finally without Ryan. It's a blessing. Spark says my day could have gone better. Uh, my county is back to proper lockdown from tonight on, uh, midnight on. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, I think we can turn this back on, right? Yeah, we can turn this back on. So let's, uh, let's suspend these for now. What are you butchering? You're butchering the raccoon. Okay. Oh, spark. Sorry to hear that. Some hunting is happening. We're about to have a lot of food. We really ought to, uh, okay, so we have a problem now. That's right, we have a problem. Which is that we no longer, Martin, I loved him, but he, the only vital role that he carried for our colony was, no, there were no vital roles. He was just a cleaner and a hauler. Um, meanwhile, Wes was very valuable. He was our number one and our only, really, constructor. And other than that, it's gotta be like, Got to be like Lim, which is, which is, uh, he doesn't even have the, the necessary, he doesn't have a five building yet, which is not great. So that's actually kind of hurts. That kind of hurts a lot. Um, who else could we have hunt? Mm, mm. Sure. Food over construction. Sure. I'm not very outgoing, so I don't miss people, but it does mess up Christmas plans a bit. I hear you. Nice, Spark. I hear you. Um, a member of our family just uh, was positively diagnosed with COVID yesterday morning. So that means a lot of uh, changing of plans for us, too. Meg, you have the best mood out of most of us. I'm going to go have you bury Martin, and then I'm going to have you bury Wes. Um, nope, nope, don't go play chess. Instead, please. Please go. What does this mean? Assign colonists? This is Wes's. That's Wes's. Please prioritize burying Wes. Astrid says we're getting antigen testing for free to help with the pandemic over Christmas. I'm contemplating getting one done. Interesting. Megan, uh, I don't know how much she actually wants to talk about this, so maybe I won't. I'll let her talk about it. Never mind. <laughs> Spark says my husband gets tested weekly at work, but both at his, at his Amazon and my girl's school. At his, oh, 
at his Amazon. I like, like, is that where he works? My girl's school had cases this past week. You ain't cremating them? We bury our colonists, we cremate strangers. Yeah, yeah. We bury our colonists so that they actually have graves. He works at Amazon, gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah, surprise, that's a good question. We bury our, uh, we bury our own dead. So. We have finished hospital beds, which is good. Uh, okay. Probably just do some of the, the important ones now. Um, hmm. Security is going to be a big problem for us. We could also turn on a couple uh, mini turrets in the middle here. I kind of want to have like waves of defense, you know? This is potentially a very dumb idea. I have to think about that uh shouldn't you burn infectious bodies i don't know the plant the animals just go out here to die out in the out in the storage so that's less of a big deal but um but yeah the uh the human bodies uh not terribly important i don't think nice says i launched a rocket last week on the rim so that should make up for all this covid shit there we go Mars says, I know I BRB, but it took so long. I got to go to the eye doctor. Stream tonight? Stream tonight. Megan and I are going to play some Minecraft. Go for all the bedrock achievements. Um, Yeah, stream tonight. You you ask, you get, you, you, you ask, you receive. Yep. Okay, now I think we can turn this back on too. We have both. Major break risk is Meg. Meg, what's going on? You hauled those bodies. Also, colonists died. Also, you observed corpses. Yeah, yeah, I understand. All of those, all those things. Get some mortars too, just in case. I am hoping to eventually have some mortars. But for now, I'm gonna avoid it. I have too much to construct. And also my constructor act won't actually build these things. Um Mars, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh my constructor won't actually isn't actually good enough to build the shit that I just that I just put, so. Also, I keep forgetting to let my fucking animals out. Launched a rocket on the rim. Spark, what do you do to uh, what do you do for for fun to pass the time? Um, other than rim rim world, what do you do to occupy your time? Down to six colonists. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Now where is uh? Okay, so our best hauler is also our best constructor, which is a problem. It means he should actually be a two. Oh, we're in trouble. Finish your wall at least? Yeah, no, it's all in the... I, so, walls will actually be built once we have stone cutting, but we don't have stone cutting. So, I can't do that. Etc. Uh, I'm full-time care for my daughter, so my fun time is either gaming or board slash card games with close friends. Cool, cool. Do you mind uh, me asking roundabouts how old your daughter is? Major break risk. Meg. Carrying some dead raccoons out. Ooh, we're also out of power because of this. So, Lim, can you actually build this? You can, right? Oh, I can't make him number one hauler. I have to make him number two hauler, number one constructor. I have to. Hauling is less important. That sucks. Oh, buddy, do we have some problems. Um. Okay. Second day of spring, though. We'll get there. Also have five cats just in case I get bored. Oh, my God. Press says I'm not dead, and that's what matters. It is what matters. And apparently you're still walking really fast. Currently, you're playing chess versus Blaze. Worshipping and praying. Surprise is currently praying. Lim failed? Motherfucker. Lim failed while building. Now he's gonna he's gonna break. Oh, when things go wrong, they all go wrong. Daughter's 14. All right, who's our other builder?
Surprise is actually decent at it. Let's have Surprise do it. You're now free. Surprise, your job is to prioritize building this shit. Surprise, I'm going to trust you where Lim failed, okay? I believe in you, Surprise. We need this to be built so that we have power. Building outside by all of these, uh, by all of these dead bodies. Let's chill. Thank God. We're gonna have some power again. Alright. Ooh. We have a problem here that I don't exactly know what to do with. Um. I just need more storage space. Silver, silver will not rot, right? Silver will not rot. So, we could do this. Let's play around for a little bit with this. The only thing that goes in here... Ah, oh, shit. So, this storage is normal. So, in this one, we would put slightly preferred, and we would put only... Only silver. And or gold, which is also not. Silver and gold and steel. This one could be silver, gold, steel. I think probably uranium too, right? Uranium, which I don't think any of those deteriorate from being outside. problem is we don't even currently have a hauler set to solve this problem but we'll try it surprise to see i'm solo carrying it will tarnish wait are you saying that for real or no i don't think any of this stuff will tarnish right we have no haulers none of them except uh for plant materials will deteriorate wheel i said Why is my plasteel? No, no, no. Plasteel's here. Plasteel's there. Okay. So wood doesn't deteriorate outside? Jade, well, I don't even know if we have. We do have jade. Okay. Great. Wood does? I couldn't tell. You worded that in a, in a very interesting way. Like, in, in, a, in a positive way. But I wasn't sure. You said plant matter or plant material. It gives you a plant matter option, and I was like, I don't know which one they mean. I'm not sure. Mars, do you want to go ahead and wake up and make us some meals out of all of this goddamn food? Thank you, Mars. That's just my Kim reflex that silver tarnishes IRL. Yeah. That's funny. All right, progress is about to be a lot effing slower. That's for sure. But we'll get there. Oh my god, we really have to have a hauler. So who is the least important? So basically right now, Maddie is going to be our hauler. And she's only going to do it after she's done. Yep, she's cremating currently. After she's done hunting. Okay. As long as there's no hunting, she will cremate bodies. She'll haul stuff. That's all good. Wood does, uh, I, sorry, I didn't read that out loud. Wood does, uh, deteriorate, but it takes one and a half years. Maddie has a whole hell of a lot of jobs to do here. Whole hell of a lot of jobs to do. Ours is making meals. You love to see it. Here's the question I wish I had. There's no way to, uh, oh, I didn't, I could just make this, uh, priority low and priority low. And then I'll turn that back on when we need stuff. There's no wind. There's no wind. There's no wind. Is this how the game is going to fuck me? Oh no. Oh no. 
thanks so much for watching this episode of our RimWorld playthrough. If you liked what you saw, I would really appreciate a like on the video. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, for more RimWorld.